go, another week of Reality of Wrestling. My name is Brad Gilmore, and we are bringing you the finest professional wrestling on the Gulf Coast, and we have an incredible show for everybody this week, and we are starting off the action hot. There she is, the queen of House Rose, Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose has been on an incredible role in 2020, and I don't even want to sound cliche when I say that. She has really been on a hell of a run as she continues her dominance here in the Diamonds Division. The only thing eluding the Queen of House Rose is a Diamonds Championship to go around her waist. Hopefully she will find herself in that position sooner rather than later. And here comes Burke Vixen. Burke Vixen is no stranger to the world Jim Marina, but this is her reality of wrestling debut. She's competed in this very building as a part of the Ladies Night Out promotion. But this is her first opportunity here inside of Reality of Wrestling. And we will see how Vert Vixen fares against somebody who's really built her entire name and career in the Diamonds Division. And here we go. Opening bell starts. Oh, that bow tied to start us off. Wrist lock there, cinched in pretty well by Vert Vixen, although Rachel Rose finding a way out of it. Oh, and one of her own, look at that. You can see the anguish on the face of Vert Vixen. Oh. This is a feeling out process here in the early goings of this match. Neither, oh, look at that, great move there by Rachel Rose. Neither woman really knowing one another all too well. Maybe some game tape via YouTube. I'm not sure if they've ever crossed paths before. We know for a 100% fact they've never done it here in the reality of wrestling ring. Some old school though grappling there. And Vert Vixen, Vert Vixen with a submission hold, with a submission hold on Rachel Rose. Rachel Rose in the middle of the ring. This might be a very dangerous position for the queen. And look at that, Vert Vixen actually relieving the pressure. Not sure how smart that was. Cover one, kick out after one but still holding control of this. Another pin predicament, one and a kick out. Rachel Rose with her own and now another reversal, two. Bert Vixen, cover one, two. One, two, just back and forth. These women go. Rachel Rose saying she's using the old noggin there. Oh, and Burt Vixen, cover one, two. Burt Vixen, obviously a well-conditioned athlete. Oh, cover, uh, going for a schoolgirl there. Burt Vixen rolls through, but wait a minute. Rachel Rose catching with her right foot upside the face. Cover one, two. Been more covers in this match than a very cold winter's night around the Christmas time. <laughs> Nevertheless, each lady only getting a maximum of a two count. And now speaking of that, there's a three count, but not the way that Rachel Rose wanted, utilizing the referee's five count and those illegal submission moves. Here's another count, two, three, referee up to a four. Rachel Rose though, she's operating as if she is a veteran and she's quickly becoming one. Oh, and a kick to the middle of the spine. Hate those, cover one, two again. And you have to imagine at this point, Rachel Rose is just covering Vert Vixen. And if for no other reason, she knows she's not gonna get a three count, but I think that she's playing a mental game with the chip. Oh, wow. Let's say with the new challenger, new foe approaches for all you Smash Brothers fans out there. That is Vert Vixen. Oh! And no amount of items, no assist trophies or Pokeballs in this match. You're just gonna have to win the old fashioned way by beating your opponent down. And Rachel Rose doing a great job of that. Another cover, one, two, and a kick out. And all diamonds evening here this week on the reality of wrestling. Oh! High elevated knee in the corner there from Rachel Rose. You're gonna see nothing but 
the greatest women's professional wrestlers here on the Gulf Coast. Hesitation drop kick into the corner, grabs Burt by the hair, throws her in the ring. One, two, and a kick out after two. Rachel Rose has really been in the driver's seat though since the onset of this match. You saw some flurries of offense from the new Burt Vixen, but aside from those small flurries, there's been no real sign or, or showing from Burt Vixen that she has come to take the Queen of House Rose's throne. Trying to get to a bottom rope here. Can she do it? And she does, she gets to the rope. Rachel Rose gonna have to break that count. Referee getting up to it look like a three or four count from my vantage point. Oh, This might be Burt Vixen's opportunity to get back in it, but Rachel Rose immediately had it scouted. Saw that right hand coming with that right forearm to the jaw and out of the side of the left, left side of the dome of Rachel Rose. Oh! Well, that'll stop anybody dead in their tracks. Burt Vixen now retreating to the corner, almost stumbling there, trying to find some sense of balance. Rachel Rose now, Irish whip. Burt Vixen, though, putting a stop to it. And nice, a kick, and another one. Super kick there, trying to get Rachel Rose off of her A game. And there it is, Inzaghiri, step up Inzaghiri. That could be all cover, one, two, and a, oh, look at that. Not even a kick out, but Rachel Rose Phenomenal ring awareness. She is playing a home game and she grabbed that bottom rope just in time to prevent Vert Vixen from getting a three count. I cannot congratulate Rachel Rose enough on that tremendous uh, exhibition of great ring awareness and a block there. Oh! Kick to the midsection, the guts and the ribs of Vert Vixen. And a spear! A spear, cover one, two, and a kick out at two and a half from Rachel Rose. And you see, you see frustrations all on the face of the Rose. There it is, her version of the Claymore cover one, two, and it's academic three count from the Queen of House Rose. If the spear won't do it, the Claymore will. And she continues her winning streak in reality of wrestling, knocking off the new challenger that approached in Vert Vixen. I think we'll see more of Vert, but we're definitely going to see more from Rachel Rose. She is now just a win or two away. She has to be from getting a Diamonds opportunity, a Diamonds championship opportunity against the current champion. We will see what 2021 holds for Rachel Rose.